All right, here we are back again with Just the Tip. This is the third installment. And as you can see here, we are back in our general arena. We still have not left. Okay, and important command to solve your annoying rain problems slash toggle downfall. Now, the lovely thing about this command is it starts the rain as well as stops it. So if you're trying to get a feel in a dungeon and you want the rain to keep coming, uh, you can at least start it, but that doesn't solve all our problems. Let's jump back here and see what would solve our problems. If I want rain all the time, slash weather rain. That way, you can have it change to wainy weather, or wainy weather. Yeah, that sounds like a really awesome blues singer. Wainy weather. Uh, but anyway. Uh, you can make it change to rainy weather uh, repeatedly if you uh, just create a clock switch. Now, of course, I'm going to show you one of those uh, switches. It's a redstone trick, and I have not gotten to redstone for you yet. But basically, if you were to set up a, a clock timer and a weather rain, it would continually make the weather rainy. So you could have a doomy, gloomy dungeon, and you could control the weather so it never ever stopped raining. And weather thunder is rain and thunder. So this plain old rain, it's just not enough for you. Not dramatic enough. Not a problem. You change it to rain and thunder. And that gives you a better storm. Uh, it's not showing up right now because that would be too easy. Ah, there we go. There's the lightning. So that's kind of a neat trick. Oops, I didn't mean to <laughs> get rid of that sign there. Um, but here you see, this is the simple uh, slash weather rain. Really easy command. And you can put that into a command block and have it on a clock timer, like I said. And it's just a really lovely way to control all the aspects of your setup. Uh, you could do that with this as well. And of course, weather clear. If you never wanted it to rain in your area, you set up a timer, you attach it to this, it keeps this flipping on and off, it always has clear weather. You never have to contend with rain, the um, day stays bright, and if you had it clear weather, and you went and you set one up with it so that it could be clear weather and time set day constantly, that means you'd have always daytime, always sunny, always. And that's just a nice thing, you know, you think after you see Toggle Downfall, what, what could you possibly need um, rain for? And there you go. That would be it. And why... Hello? What's up with you? Ah! Punch you. I punch you. Oops. <laughs> I'm really destructive. I just want to hit birds in the face. I'm gonna put something else here at some point. The jacuzzi is nice though. I do like the jacuzzi. Um, <laughs> let's see here. All these chickens are mating. Uh, these chickens went into here on their own accord. I would like to say that before killing them all. Um, in no way did I force these chickens to spawn here. They took it upon themselves to be in a pen and jumping in water. That, that was up to them. Uh, lightning. You can summon lightning wherever you want it. Now you could uh, pick a coordinate, uh, which that's all well and good if you have the thing on that one coordinate. Um, or you could make a cage and pick a coordinate like I did. And I did it relative distance from the block here. I'm going to go over this uh, relative distance crap with you guys a little bit later. Um, but all you need to know is where those chickens are. That's where I'm summoning the lightning bolts. <laughs> now, the lovely thing about lightning, especially having it on a switch, is that you can just continually summon it. Those chickens are gone. Uh, this actually does create fire if you've got anything flammable. Um, let's see. Or in, if, if it's not flammable, I think it creates fire as long as it's ground. Um, let's check my theory here. Oh, it didn't really hit there. I think it, it's hitting higher. Oh, 
Huh, we won't catch sand on fire. I'm not really that surprised. Sand doesn't usually catch on fire. Uh, let's try something like wool. Uh, that was iron. Iron, not very flammable. Pepper, not, not very flammable. I just actually think it's over too far. Wow, that is, the water really stops that from uh, catching anything on fire. I assure you, lightning does catch ground on fire, and if I made it the top of this block, which I will do right now, catches the block on fire. It is just being ornery. Just being ornery to bother me. That's all. Um, <clears throat> Burn, baby, burn. Disco Inferno. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Moving on. That really illuminated the place. That'd be nice for, like, temporary illumination. Just lightning. Uh, doesn't stay lit the whole time, though. You'd need to have that one a time or two. You just, like, flash constantly. That would be nice, actually. If you just... What uh, alter? What an interesting alternate light source, like a strobe course. Um, if you have a seizure disorder, I apologize right now. I wasn't even thinking about that. Um, sorry. Do keep that in mind. Do warn people if you're going to put strobing lights into anything. Uh, <laughs> not very nice for people that might have a seizure. Um, let's see. Now, I'm going to break this off right now because I don't want to get into custom mob spawning until next episode. And next episode will be coming up right after this episode because I'm going to release them one in a row. And I'm going to show you the magic that is uh, mob spawning. Alright, it's been wonderful. And uh, like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you think about the new series. Let me know if I'm too long-winded. Let me know if I'm too short-winded. Let me know if I'm too serious. Please let me know something. Okay, um, never mind. Normal things. Normal, sane things. Okay, thanks for watching.